Crazy does not talk shit to anyone ever. If you ever get Crazy coming out of his cell and talking shit, it's very rare because he does not ever. He's the silent one. You know, there's a song on his record. It's also on Graveyard Shift called Silent Warrior. I did that song with him. He is, he is the silent warrior because if you can think, if you're already laying on the floor bleeding, that's crazy bone. He already got you because he does not talk about it ever. But I remember, and this is for sure, I remember coming out of Chicago, huge, I think it was 97, 98, huge concert, right, at the big stadium in Chicago. And we had seven tour buses. Always had that because, you know, five different members and two for dancers and two for gear, right? And so seven tour buses. And I just remember niggas running. Okay, come on, nigga, we got to go. Right? And so I'm running. I don't know what happened. I really don't. We were backstage. Somebody starts shooting. I don't know. So I figure maybe there's a fight. So we're running. We jump on the, the you know, cause me and Crazy always on the same bus. And the bus driver is speeding off. On, there's police. Fuck the police. We got to go. That's what Crazy said. Nigga, our bus started. Our bus started getting hit up. I was like, nigga, what happened? And the next thing I know, Cray pulled a AK-47 out from under the seat. That's crazy bone. You never know it's coming. But when it comes, it's too late because you are in trouble. Oh, niggas were shooting at us. Cock, cock, cock. Hitting our bus, right? The bus started tripping. We slowed down finally somewhere around Indiana. We were just, we hit the motherfucking interstate and we was, and niggas was behind us. Pop, pop. I mean, it was, it was like some shit out of a movie, I have to tell you. Ray had a fucking AK out. I was like, where the fuck you get that? Nigga, lay down, nigga. I got this. And that's how he talked, man. And when he said that shit, you pretty much, you probably wanted to lay down right about then because Cray is, he's that one. He is the silent warrior. That, a lot of his lyrics are autobiographical. Crazy Bone is that one. Well, you know, the song Heated Heavy, is that about that, that event right there? Hit, uh, Heated Heavy? Yeah. 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 Because that was on Thug Mentality 99, so I figured maybe yeah. you guess that's what yeah. you're talking about. That is, actually, that, I got to tell you this. That happened to us a few times on that tour, and that's what, uh, yeah, Heat It Heavy is about. Yeah, you better. Of course, everybody can get heavy. They go the way I want them to get up in them. Uh-huh. That's what that is about. It happened to us, not just in Chicago. That happened to us, I think, four times on that tour. You smoke a little more, eat a little more, bang, bang. Now, this particular lyric, me and Crazy were standing next to each other, and we were in, I think, New York or somewhere, and we were at a club after our show, and we were at a club, and it was me and Crazy, maybe Wish, I'm not sure, it was, you know, a couple of dudes. wasn't a lot. And what, what song is it? Well, shoot the club up. That's what the song is, shoot the club up. And this is what the song is about. You know the song, Shoot the Club Up? Yeah, right? I was oh, yeah. just going to ask. Yeah. Okay, Okay. so look, we're at, and every time I listen to this song, the hair stands up on my arm because, nigga, it was exactly like it is <laughs> in the fucking song. And so we're at this club. You know when the promoter will take you to the club and there'll be girls and bottle service and all this shit, right? And everybody's drinking. You know, like I said, I, I wasn't a big drinker. I didn't smoke weed very much. So I'm usually, you know, I, I, I'm a control freak. So I never like to get too high because I, I got to kind of be in control of shit. Craig, you know, enjoy drinking, smoking. I mean, there's always weed at phone does, right? And so I don't know who said what first, but that song popped off. Straight up. Shoot the club up. Pop the fuck off in that club. And I, could, I, I see that club right now. And I think it's 98, 99. And I see the cup club right now. I can see, like, where everything is, the upstairs, the, the VIP service, where we – I can see it right now. Because, nigga, when niggas start shooting, you don't, you're not quick to forget that shit because you could have died. And, yeah, they, was, they came after us. Well, not I, – I don't say me, but when I say us, I'm with crazy folk. You know what I'm saying? No matter what happens, we together, and we got to take care of each other. But, so, yeah, they came after us. And I hear later on by, I think it was like Asu or some of the guys from Tupac Outlaws, they was hanging with us a lot. And kind of like Asu was kind of a bodyguard kind of. And then, you know, Rod J, who's one of uh, Crazy's brothers. You know, so we had bodyguards with us. And so I hear later 
the full story. All I know is at the club, niggas was popping off and, you know, nigga, you better run. You know, it's just like running with AK-47 and, and, <laughs> and shoot the club up. And that's, all that shit is so real. Because I, I think back to those songs and I remember that they happened. And every time it happened. It was crazy, but when I was away. Yes, we can rest some, we rest some, we rest some. Yes, we can rest some.